Hey everybody, it's Dr. Dane. Welcome to this installment of the Tour of Consciousness from one of my favorite places in the world, lovely Costa Rica. And uh, we have a lot of things going down here. We're going to be doing a certified facilitators class in a couple days for a bunch of beautiful people from around the world. Yay! Now, it's a little windy, so if you can't hear me, I apologize. Um, so what is the tool for today? Well, there are so many things. Um, but one of the things I'd like to talk to you about today is sort of how you interact with other people. Because being you, uh, I wrote this book, I wrote the book on being you. <laughs> nah, bad joke. Um, being you is one of these things that it's funny, but it's like we have to learn it. What? Why should we have to learn it? Well, it's just one of those things because nobody really teaches us the ropes on being us. So one of the things I found recently is that with people that we care about, because there's a lot of people around us that do unhappiness, that do sadness a lot of the time. And so what we tend to do is we tend to think we have two choices. We can either be distant from them, something I call comfortable distance. And by the way, we have a process for that in Access. Um, and it's about the comfortable distance we choose uh, between us and other people. Um, and let's just say an easy way of running that process would be what comfortable distance am I creating between us right now? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, call nine shorts, boys and beyonds. There's a more in-depth process, but I don't really want to explain it right now. Comfortable distance is where you're willing to have a certain amount of closeness, but if they step over that line, you have to push them back away. Thank you. Um, we're good? Okay. I'm just about, see, there's Robert, Roberto. I'm just about to get in the helicopter. Ooh, how does it get any better than that? I'll send you some footage of that too. Um, flying over lovely Costa Rica. But so the deal is you can either do when you're around people who are unhappy that you care about. The idea is you can either truly care about them and then be as unhappy as they are, or you can do comfortable distance with them and maintain your happiness. What if there's a different choice? What if there's actually a space that you are, a space of peace, a space of ease, a space of possibilities? We'll talk more about that on the next tour of consciousness um, and how to get there and or at least an acknowledgement of it so you can choose it more often but what if you didn't have to do either distance or caring and by caring we have this weird idea that caring means we need to climb down into the cesspool or the unhappiness that somebody else is choosing so everywhere you decided that you need to climb what if you misidentified and misapplied as caring that actually isn't everything that is right and wrong good and bad pot and pot call nine shorts boys beyond because if you look at it from a place of awareness, true caring would be more like, you know what, I care so much about you that I'm gonna stay happy so you know it's possible, so there's a source of happiness that you can choose when you're ready. So everything that doesn't allow you to choose that, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Oh, one other thing. We have the Being You Book Club coming up with me and a bunch of amazing Being You certified facilitators around the world. It starts, I think, September 21st. Check the date. It'll be somewhere in the description here or in the email you get with the Tour of Consciousness. But um, I am so excited because we're actually gonna be reading through this book and what else would be possible for you um, to get on with a bunch of people from around the world, read through this book, see what else is possible for you. When I wrote the book back in 2011, um, nobody was talking about being you. In fact, Gary Douglas, my best friend, business partner, said to me, don't call it being you changing the world. Nobody's ready for that. Well, guess what? It's 2019 and the being you movement has just grown and grown and grown. So in the exploration of this, um, we'll explore caring, we'll explore family, we will explore uh, having you in all kinds of different situations. No stress, no muss, no fuss, and we'll have a lot of fun. So that's another possibility uh, for you to explore this area too. And back to our conversation really quick as a recap. I know the video is getting long already and I have a helicopter to get on. Um, oh yeah, that um, is if you didn't have to do caring as going into somebody else's world and going into their drama or their unhappiness. And if true caring were actually being a source beyond it, just by being you, what else would be possible? And if your choices were not create distance from them to be happy or create closeness with them and be unhappy, what else could you choose? Everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, know, be, and receive it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, call nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And lastly, a really quick process for you. What energy, space, and consciousness and choice can I be 
to have total clarity and ease with all of this. Okay, my beautiful friends, gotta go. I'm getting yelled at, and I'll send you some footage from the helicopter. Bye.